Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Easy Natural English with Liam. I hope that you're all doing well. I hope you're having a nice day. Um, as usual, I'll be talking to you with no script and no editing so you can get used to English in a natural way. And as I always say, if it's difficult, don't worry, don't try to uh, write it down or anything, just keep listening to English and it will get easier and you will start to understand um, with a natural process, the same way you learnt your own language. Anyway, today um, I'm going to talk about British food. Uh, I'm from the UK, so I want to talk specifically about whether or not <laughs> British food is bad. Um, so this is something I hear a lot from my, uh, not just from my students, but from people overseas um, all the time. I mean, now I'm here in Japan, so I hear it often in Japan. Uh, but I hear it in other countries too. When I introduce myself as a British person, uh, people always say, is the UK always wet? <laughs> Does it always rain? Um, this stereotype is kind of true, to be honest. Um, it is raining most days. Uh, actually, Japan has more rainfall than the UK, so the amount of rain that falls in one year is more in Japan. But here in Japan, there's like a wet season, so a lot of the rain comes at once, and then it's finished. But uh, yeah, in the UK, there's a lot of uh, a lot of rainy days, so it's just raining a little bit. We usually call it drizzle. Drizzle means uh, just a little bit of rain, and that kind of is happening, yeah, many days of the year. But peep, the second thing people always say when I say I'm from the UK, they say, ah, isn't all your food bad in the UK? Um, of course, this is a ridiculous stereotype. Um, you know, there's no country in the world that has disgusting food. Like, of course, um, nobody wants to eat food that tastes bad. Like, nobody's going to eat uh, food that's too old or food that has too much salt or food that's uh, spoiled or something. You know, of course, this is a stereotype. Um, where this stereotype comes from, um, I don't know exactly, but I think maybe this came from, like, in the past, you know, the UK, um, the UK climate um, is not, uh, you know, it's not particularly warm, so um, it's not like uh, Italy or Spain or even the south of France where you could grow you know, bell peppers and aubergine and courgette. Some people might call those eggplant and zucchini, um, you know, or avocados or these kind of like more interesting vegetables and things. Uh, yeah, in the past, the UK only had simple ingredients to work with, but that's uh, also kind of similar to a lot of north, uh, the northern part of Europe. Traditionally, they would have just had maybe potatoes, carrots, peas, cabbage, um, you know, fairly, uh, I mean, they're great vegetables, but maybe you could say a bit boring, perhaps, compared to some other vegetables, not so colourful, um, yeah, not so much to do with them, I guess. Um, so maybe that's where the stereotype comes from. Uh, a long time ago, when other European countries had more interesting ingredients and could make more colourful food and things, maybe the UK food looked a bit bland, you know, a bit simple compared to these other places. Um, I don't know, perhaps that's where it comes from. I'm not sure. Because to be honest, when I go back to the UK, I'm very excited um, to eat there. And that's not just because I'm a British person. Um, I know many people who come from other countries and they live in the UK for some time and they really enjoy the food. I think the problem um, with some tourists is many tourists don't know, you know, for a start, they don't know which English food is good. Maybe the only thing they know about is fish and chips and maybe high tea, you know, which is like tea with some scones and sandwiches and things. But they don't know about a lot of the traditional food that British people eat, you know, every day or every week. Of course, fish and chips is not the thing, it's not what we're eating every day. 
It's like thinking there is only sushi in Japan. If you think we only have fish and chips in the UK, yeah, it's like saying there's only sushi、uh, in Japan. So,、um, what was I going to say? So, yeah, this idea that、um, food is bad, I think it comes from, you know, people have this stereotype in mind. You know, they believe this stereotype. And then、uh, we have this thing, which in English is called confirmation bias.、Uh, this is a very difficult word, perhaps, but confirmation bias is.、Um, This idea that if you believe something, it's very hard to change your mind. So, if you, for example, if you think British food is bad and you take a trip to the UK, maybe you eat many delicious things,、um, but that doesn't support your stereotype. So, then you only remember the one like disgusting thing you ate. Maybe you ordered something、um, in a touristic restaurant、um, and the food wasn't good. And then you remember this one thing.、Um, and, and also, that's often the case. Tourists tend to choose really bad restaurants, to be honest, and not just in the UK, in any country.、Um, you know, even here in Japan,、uh, the restaurants that tourists go to tend to have food that's not as good as the restaurants that local people like. Because I think when you serve tourists, when you give food to people on vacation, You don't need to care if they're going to come back. If it's a local person, you have to give them good service and good food because you want them to come again. But if they're on vacation, it doesn't matter because they're going to go home afterwards. They can't come back. So it doesn't matter. So you can be kind of lazy about cooking. You can be lazy with your service. So yeah, I think a lot of tourists tend to go to pretty terrible places.、Um, even when they're in the guidebook and stuff, it doesn't mean that they're good. Best thing is to ask locals. So, yeah, British food. There's lots to offer traditionally.、Um, my favorite food,、uh, UK food, is probably a roast dinner. And roast dinner is one of like, the most important foods for a lot of British people. It's something, you know, everybody thinks their mum makes the best <laughs> roast dinner. You probably have this in your culture. You think your mum is the best cook. So, in the UK, people always think their mum makes the best roast dinner, maybe because that's the one that they are used to. And a roast dinner is、uh, roast, usually roast potatoes,、um, some roast meat. Vegetarians might have a,、um, what's it called, a nut loaf or something.、Um, and then some vegetables and gravy. And then it often also comes with something called a Yorkshire pudding. Um, pudding, it's called Yorkshire pudding, but it's not actually sweet.、Um, if you search on Google, you can see an image of it. Yorkshire pudding is like,、um, it's made from batter. Batter is like what you make pancakes from, but this batter is not sweet. And you cook it in the oven and it becomes crispy on the outside and soft in the middle. So it's really nice when you pour、uh, gravy. On top, and gravy is the kind of meat sauce that you put on this kind of food. Yeah, and then there's lots of delicious things shepherd's pie, fisherman's pie,、uh, toad in the hole.、Um, yeah, lots of traditional food <clears throat> that's really good. But then on top of that, the UK is very welcoming to other foods. And that's the,、um, that's the thing I really like when I go back to the UK. Um, and it's true in other English speaking countries too. So, in、um, the USA or Australia or New Zealand, they tend to have、um, a lot of restaurants from other countries. And maybe because all these countries have quite high immigration, we have lots of foreign people. So, there's so many different restaurants, and you can eat the very authentic version of something, you know, the real version of something, or at least very close to the real version. Um, because, yeah, here in Japan, when I eat、um, a lot of foreign food, it doesn't taste like the real thing. So, like, especially the British food and American food, it usually doesn't taste like real British food or real American food. It tastes like the kind of Japanese version.、Um, there's even lots of things that exist here that people call American or call British, and they don't exist in America or exist in the UK.、Um, that happens a lot. Um, 
Anyway, yeah, so the point of this was uh, don't believe stereotypes of any kind. And, you know, if you hear a stereotype, try to forget it and try to taste things or listen to things or look at things with a with a clean slate, with an open mind, with an open mind. Don't have any uh, prejudice. Yeah, and if you go to the UK, don't go to the tourist places. Ask the local people where the good food is. And pubs, go to a pub. Pubs usually have good traditional British food. And yeah, try some of the things that are on offer. But anyway, uh, yes, that is all I wanted to say about this. Thank you all for listening. Uh, those of you on the podcast, please review. People on YouTube, like and subscribe. Everybody share with your friends and I will see you all back here next time.